الله اكبر The Terrigens company specializes in the monitoring of Middle East and terror-related Internet sites, evaluating the global terror threats and passing the relative information on to various intelligence and security authorities interested in receiving up-to-date reports on the situation. The staff are qualified in Arabic as well as Farsi, Turkish, English and Hebrew. We infiltrate into those forums and websites using false identities acting as jihadi sympathizers. We use their own terminology and uh, dialect. By that, we manage to obtain the certain data that we need. Uh, for example, video clips that are rare and can't be uh, found anywhere on the web, or uh, jihad instructions for uh, carry out, carrying out operations, and jihadi manuals for uh, producing explosives. Armed with fluent Arabic and fake identities, staff members scour the internet for signs of the next Islamic attack. Staff members are all former Israeli army intelligence analysts that decided to put their skills to work. What we found over the past few weeks, for example, are um, posts on a possible radiological attack, or at least how such an attack should be done. Another thing we found were recipes for chemical weapons and exactly how those bombs are supposed to be uh, put together. And of course we pass that information on to the relevant authorities in the West. Uh, another thing we do is we go behind the scenes in, scenes in Iran as well. We track blogs, there are 170,000 of them going on. Blogs ranging from the soldier at the front, even from the uh, rev revolutionary guards, all the way back to uh, uh, women's rights issues and torture in uh, the northern areas. Such organizations are not only a necessity but a must in order to stay abreast of the situation, said former Mossad chief Ephraim Levy. We are living in an information explosion. The quantity of information uh, increases year by year uh, hundredfold. And it's almost uh, physically impossible uh, to read everything and to sift everything. So what you need is to have a system in which you are able to sift things, to focus on, on issues and on matters, and to receive the essentials. It's uh, like looking for a, uh, a needle in the haystack. And I think that there the uh, Ovid sources can be very, very useful.